Hello, this is Jalen, and you're watching Rum Time TV. Today, I want to talk to y'all about why I started doing music. Now, at first, I used to do a whole lot of acting, and I used to draw when I was growing up as a kid, and I believe that that was going to get me to wherever it is as far as like fame and stuff like that because I thought fame was the most important thing. But uh, as I got older, I stopped drawing and stuff because I was like, okay, this isn't really going to get me anywhere. And I did like my little research or whatever back then. And I just was like, nah, that's not where I'm going to get. So eventually I started to do acting. And I had this show on YouTube called Rumley Stories. My family still remembers that. Uh, some other people around me still remember that. It was a, it was a good show for his time and everything, you know. I definitely thought about continuing it, but it just came to an end because it was just, it was just that time. I was going through a lot around the time and um, I was really wearing like a mask. So I ended up stopped doing acting and stuff and comedy, the whole thing. Mind you, I did like uh, a little bit of stand up, uh, but it was like practice. And then I did some plays and musicals, but um, I stopped doing a whole acting thing because I just didn't feel like the outcome of that wasn't going to be what I wanted as far as fame. Because remember, fame was the main thing. I'm like, nah, that's not what I'm going to want to get from that, though. When I went to college and stuff like that, I kept doing the acting thing. And then I started to freestyle in dorm rooms and stuff like that. So eventually I came to the terms. I was like, okay. Every time when I would like freestyle and hop on somebody's feature, they would get a certain type of like reaction that I got. And that I was like interested in. I was like, okay, that's kind of different. I, I ain't never really had that from like rapping and stuff like that. So when I actually started to do certain features and hopping on people's tracks, they just became more of like interested in what I had to say. And so that made me really want to continue to do music. So then I started to create music on my iPad and I was dropping quick EPs and mixtapes and then I would just send it to people and it was all love, it was all great feedback. Mind you, this is me in the beginning. This, my music is completely different now. This, like all that stuff is just experimental stuff. But I like the fact that I got to create my own cover art and really be like an artist and create a whole storyline within something that was different from just acting. Acting was just like, okay, I'm applying for this. I'm doing this, I'm playing this character and it wasn't really like, I, I didn't feel like I was getting a chance to create how it was, well, I guess entertaining. So eventually I was just like, okay, I'm gonna just do this music thing. And I took that thing full fledged, ended up dropping out of college. And I had moved back home and I was just going back and forth. I'd be back home, I would be in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where I went to college. So I would go back and forth and it was a point in time to where I was just like homeless. Not really homeless, like I was staying with my uh, family, but it was like, bro, I didn't have no job and I was just smoking every day. And I didn't, I wasn't working out. I was feeling just very depressed because I'm like, man, I'm not getting to that certain level that I should be at as far as like where I think I'm at in my mind. So I was just like, man, um, I had like an epiphany one day, you know, when you smoke, you think a lot. And it's around town I stopped smoking. I'll make another video about that. I'll make another video about that. So eventually I was just like, okay, man. I, had, I guess I hit it, hit this joint too hard this one day. And I was like, man, you know, you think that you're popping as you, you say you are. But are you really popping like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you claim that you're the shit. But are you really the shit? So I started to look at, like, the statistics of, like, little small videos I dropped the music and how people react to it. What I've done in my whole life, I thought about my whole life, like how much impact have you really made? And then that's when I stopped smoking and stopped drinking for a minute, because I started to have a little drinking habit too. But I started to really focus on my image. So I had moved back to Detroit 2018, which is my hometown, Detroit. I know I'm giving y'all a lot of random jewels, but yeah, Detroit. So I moved back home and then I was just like, I believe I know how to do this now. So when I moved back, I was like, okay, I'm gonna focus on this music thing and the image. And I started 
to perform around the city locally. And I really focused on what type of music I was making and what I was saying. Um, I was playing with the auto-tone on GarageBand on my iPad. And just really focusing on the type of concept that I was creating. And before you know it, the more that I just kept making videos, performing, making videos, performing, putting my all into actually thinking about what I'm saying, you know, the whole storyline and how many tracks you're putting on it. And I actually just started to focus and put in the action and work. It was when I started to see more results. The point it is right now, I've never really thought I'd see it get to this point. And I'm at a very comfortable point to where I don't even really care about the fame no more. I'm really just doing this music thing as a documentation. Like, it's not even really about the money anymore, but it kind of is. And I don't really mind just touring and meeting fans locally. So I'm definitely aware of how fast my music is going now and what it's doing. I still have a lot of growth to do. So who knows what type of person I'll be once my audience really goes viral but i'm looking forward to that day and you know what and i adapt either way so but pretty much that's the reason why i got into music you know i created music because i felt like it was a way better outcome as far as reactions and my actions on doing it so hopefully this story helps inspire you if you feel like you're doing something but kind of questioning whether it's something you want to really do or if you're doing music and you kind of like never thought about why you're doing it or if you just whatever whatever your passion is you have to really think about what am I doing and am I really making the results of that you know what I'm saying so yeah this is Jalen and uh like comment and subscribe and we'll talk later